Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 257, binary tree paths. This is an easy level problem on the code and when I solve it in JavaScript. So we're given the root of a binary tree. Return all root to leaf paths in any order. So here's the tree we're given and it wants to return all the root to leaf. So one to three is a root to leaf and one to five. And leaf is a case where it doesn't have any more nodes attached to it. So this dot left and this dot right of that node will be both null. And it looks like here, the both is an array of strings and each node value gets con concatenated along with the, the arrow symbol for it. So to solve this problem, we can use a death first search, DFS, to, uh, and recursively solve the problem. So, what we can do is that first, we can cover the edge case where if the root is null, we just return an empty array. So if root is null, return empty array. So next, we're returning everything in array. So let's create create results array. And this is what we're gonna return at the end. So we can use a recursive approach to this. So we have to create our helper function. So create traverse helper function. And that is gonna take in the node that we're looking at to solve recursively. And then we're gonna, every time we go through the call stack, we're gonna concatenate the node value with this to it. So we're gonna have a string path, we can call it, and that's uh, a, a variable we're gonna give it. And then it's also gonna take the results array that we're giving that we're gonna have to push to. So inside of this, we will have to we will have to get what the, the node.value is and concat that to the string path. So we have to concat node.val to string path. So that's what we wanna do with, the, with every recursive call and then what do we do next is that when do we stop? We stop when there's no, this dot left and this dot right when it's a leaf. So if left and right node are both null, we push the string path to results. Great. And then if they're not both null, we can look at the left side first. So if left is not null, we will call traverse again to the left side. And then we do the inverse with the right side. Right is not null, we traverse to the right. Great. So now we have that done. We just return results. Okay. So to put it all on, go, let me create some more space. We have to do the edge case. If root is equal to null, return an empty array. Now we create our helper function. So we can call it const traverse. And let me uh, create the results array first. Let results equal an empty array. So const traverse, and that is gonna take in the node we're looking at. And then the, string, the results and also the string path and they both 
all start off as an empty string. So we can declare it here. Great. So now we concatenate the node value to the string path. So string path plus equal node dot val, since we have, this is the val what they have for each node. Next we check if there are any more leaves to end this. So if node dot left equals to null and node dot right is equal to null. We push the results, we push the string path to the results, results. Great. So now we look, we can look at each side. So if node dot left does not equal to null, we can traverse it. So traverse node dot left results. And for the string path, we can use the same string path because we're concatenating it. So it just builds upon up upon it, because you see here one, two, it starts off at the root for both of them. String path. And then we can just add the this thing here, the syntax they want. Great. And now we can do the same thing, but for the right side. So if no dot right doesn't even know we traverse to the right. Okay, so that's our helper function. And now we can call it, so traverse. And we're gonna start it off at the root node. And we're gonna use the same variable for results. And we don't need anything for the string path because we're gonna assign it to the empty string like that. And after we do this, we just return results. Great. We got it. So let's look at time and space complexity. Time complexity. Since we're iterating through the entire tree, it's gonna be O of N. And then since we're creating a recursive function for each of the tree nodes, we do space complexity of O of N, where N is the number of nodes. Great, so that's how you solve this problem. Thank you so much.